What is up, FIFA Carpenters? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. If you're new on this corner, you know how it goes. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and do let me know in the comment section below if you are enjoying your FIFA experiments. Boys, today we get ourselves a sensational card. This is part of the Shapeshifter promo. We get ourselves a player that goes by the name of Yannick Ferreira Carrasco. And what a card. He's born in Vilvald, Belgium. He is from Portuguese origin from his father's side and Spanish origin from his mother's side. Can you imagine if he had decided to to play on in the Portuguese colors along players like Cristiano Ronaldo that would have been absolutely insane but he plays for the Belgium team anyways uh, his youth career was uh, spent in the Belgian team with clubs like Genk and then he moved on to Monaco with 150 appearances followed by Atletico Madrid I'm actually going to show you here he was at uh, Monaco like I was said followed by Atletico Madrid but the world was pretty much shocked when he decided to go and play in the Chinese league with Lillian professional only 50 appearances but since has been back with Atletico Madrid since 2022 and has been doing bits for the club now moving on to the card that we see on screen boys boys this is crazy because we get two cards right we get the cam and we get the right wing this is going to be a strange video but we're going to have to review both the cam player card is six foot one fantastic that's fantastic he's high high as opposed to the right winger that is high medium that already is a little bit of a punch in the gut because the high high does support him playing in the midfield as a cm and you know he's going to attack and he's also going to drop a little bit down he has that 70 defending overall that supports a little bit of that drop down uh, work rate the right wing is a pure forward forget about dropping with him he's going to be your striker he's going to be your cam and he is also going to be your winger now there's also a difference with the preferred foot the cam is right footed the right wing is left footed this is this is this reminds you that esports uh, really puts out a video game they can change a dominant foot however they want and that is that, that's kind of shocking but it is what it is moving on to the skill moves he gets five star skill as a cam he gets four star skills as a uh, uh as a winger he gets four star weak foot as a cam a five star it's literally the opposite five star weak foot as a right winger i'm i'm really torn i'm really torn but let's start with the cam and look at the player attributes we start with the pace the pace is already broken the pace is cracked really you don't need to touch that you don't need to go ahead and touch it the shooting on this card is also very much cracked 91 attack positioning 93 uh long shot and not and you combine that with the 92 finishing and a 96 short short not short but shot power and he's going to be sensational at finishing he really is going to be sensational at finishing but you can pair all of that with the right wing and it's a lot more cracked with the right wing the pace is untouchable absolutely bolted the shooting is untouchable 97 attack uh, attack positioning 99 finishing 99 shot power 99 long shot Boys, listen. I, I love the fact that the, I love the fact that the uh, the the cam gets a lot of attributes when it comes to defending. But when you compare that to the right wing, the right wing really shows that he is a pure pure forward. Moving on to the passing. The passing is where the cam version gets the upper hand. He has a 96 vision. You can find out with a 97 short pass, the 91 uh, long pass. That is sensational. And that makes sense because he's going to play on your midfield. You compare that to the right wing, which is 91 vision, 93 uh, short pass, and 87, only 87 long pass. The crossing is pretty juiced on on this version right because he's a winger 96 crossing 96 curve 93 free kick accuracy as opposed to 99 crossing over here 99 curve and 97 free kick accuracy actually it seems like the camp version is only is actually going to be better at playing on the wings because he's going to be able to cross it better he's going to he has a better curve on his balls and he also does have a higher free kick accuracy than the right wing which is surprising right the right wing should have better stats when it comes to that passing moving on to the dribbling the dribbling is regarding the body type it's identical he's high on average plus body type but if you've used Carrasco this year if you've used his uh, headliner card you know how brilliant Carrasco is this year if you've used um, the uh, team of the season you also know how brilliant Carrasco is this year the average the high and average body type is not much of an issue if and I repeat only if he is a pure forward meaning a striker or a winger as a cam I do believe that's going to be an issue as a CM that is going to be an issue because he doesn't have the movimiento of a uh, let's say of an Isco 
even though Isco is average body type, he doesn't have that type of movement, right? So keep that in mind. The, the, the dribbling is very much boosted, but you are going to feel the difference. If you play him in the midfield as a cam, as a CM, his movement is not going to be as crisp. If you play him as a striker or a winger with this card, you do have the ability to turn and shoot. And he's very, very good at doing that. He also has incredible pace. So he's going to be able to run and really beat any defender. 97 agility, 90 balance for the right wing. Uh, 90 reaction, 95 ball control, 99 dribbling, 90 composure. As opposed to the cam that has 99 agility, 92 balance, a little, a little bit more already. Uh, 95 reaction, 97 ball control, 99 dribbling, 97 composure. Listen, the dribbling is clearly more boosted on the cam version because he's going to play in the midfield. And eSports does recognize that if a player is in the midfield, he really, really, really needs to move better. But... I'm not sure I want to suggest you guys to play with Carrasco in the midfield. Moving on to the defending on the cam version, he does have a lot more defending. He has 83 heading accuracy, that is pretty good with the 99, sorry, with the 91 jumping, that is good. He's going to be a threat in the box, not the perfect accuracy, but still a threat in the box. The 78 defending awareness, the 73 stand tackling, the 55 slide tackling, his defending stats are not are nothing to be raving about, no, but he does have a baseline that supports a little bit of a boosting, right? If you put a shadow on this, if you put a shadow might be too much because his pace is already boosted, but if you put an anchor to boost the physicality and the defending, that's already pretty good, right? And the defending would be boosted. Now, the, the right wing version has no defending to, to no, no defending whatsoever. It, it does have uh, the 82 heading accuracy very similarly to the other one and the 91 jumping, which supports the same amount of heading acumen. Moving on to the physicality. The physicality on the right wing is the physicality on the right wing card is a little bit, a little bit. It's the same actually. No, it's exactly the same. 97 stamina, 88, not 88, but 80 strength, 83 aggression. Same thing for the cam version. 97, 80, 83. Now the the, the player traits they're they're very much the same. The player traits are exactly the same. You get flare, you get long shot taker, and you get speed dribbler. Now, 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 let's talk about what you need to complete to uh, get this card. It's going to be a little bit expensive. It is going to be just a little bit expensive. It's four panels that are required by eSports, and three of, out of those four panels require a team of the season. The first one is a 84 overall, 70 chemistry, one team of the season or team of the week, and also an Atletico Madrid player in a 4-4-2 second variation, a bunch of midfielders, and that should be okay. The next one is going to be an 85 overall, 65 chemistry, one team of the season, team of the week. Week, a Belgian player in a 4 one 2 and 2 standard variation, a bunch of midfielders, that should do it. The third one does not require a team of the season or team of the week, but an 87 overall, 55 chemistry, one La Liga Santander player in a 4 3 3 third variation. This is very expensive. A bunch of midfielders. And the last one, last one is an 88 overall, 50 chemistry, one team of the season, team of the week, 4 4 2, standard variation. There are a bunch of midfielders, and that should be good. This 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 player is very, very expensive. I think eSports could have made it three panels instead of four. This is easily going to be 400k plus because of the, the, the requirements. And really, really, what are you getting? You are getting a Carrasco who is so, so good at finishing. I've never seen anybody play with this card in the midfield and there's a reason for that if you're going to play a formation like this a 4-2-3-1 and you need you, you don't want a winger because you want Carrasco to be on full chemistry on 10 chemistry this one has five star skill four star weak foot I cannot tell you guys which card to pick here it would be dishonest to tell you what card to, to pick it's really based on how you play if you are somebody who plays with five star skill and at this current shade of the game just like me you cannot really play with a player that is less than five star skill in as a forward. You're probably going to want to pick the cam version. But, but if you can play with somebody who has impeccable uh, weak foot, five star weak foot, who is going to be a striker, who is going to be a, a right winger or a striker because of that left foot, right? A right striker or a right winger. This is the card for you. Uh, the dribbling is not that important because as a striker, you get the card, you turn, you do a little bit of movement with the left stick and you shoot. But if you're going to be a little bit, again, more flexible and you want somebody who can dribble a little bit more, you want somebody who's going to move into the box, you want a player that is a little bit, a little bit more agile. 
you're probably going to have to go with this Carrasco. Boys, I, I wasn't going to tell you exactly who to pick. It really depends on who you want. If I'm going to complete this SPC, I am probably going to go with this cam version. And you, no, 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 that's a lie. I'm probably going to go with the right wing. I'm probably going to go with the right wing. And the reason why is because I, I, I know how clinical Carrasco is at finishing. I don't really care about having him in my midfield. The five star uh, weak foot is fantastic. The four star skills is okay. He's a pure striker for me. The right wing, it would be the card that I would pick for my team. But I won't tell you what to pick for your team. This was a FIFA commenter giving you uh, the review on Carrasco. It's a bit of a different one here because we had to look at the two cards. It's basically two reviews in one. Drop a like on this video. Let me know which one you will pick. I really need to know. Discuss this with you guys to, to make an informed decision. Which one are you picking? And what are the reasons why you're picking this? Drop a like on this video. Subscribe and I'll catch you very soon for another one. Peace out.